Hello, welcome to my channel. Firstly, I'd like to introduce myself. I'm Hiroki Iwanaga with Toshiba Corporation. I have been studying luminescent lanthanide complexes and trying to commercialize them. Today, let me introduce transparent photoluminescence materials, which involve our novel luminescent complexes and their commercialization activities. These are the contents of my presentation. First, by way of introduction, I will refer to the transparent photoluminescence materials, which involve novel luminescent complexes with a demo. Second, I will describe fundamental properties of luminescence europium complexes. Third, I will report on applications of transparent photoluminescence materials. Finally, I will conclude by summarizing the principal point. I'd like to start by talking about transparent photoluminescence materials and the European complexes involved in them. European complexes are consisting of a European iron and organic ligand, and European iron itself has very low light absorption and small emission. Photoluminescence intensity of europium complexes is strongly depending on the molecular structure's organic ligand. We found that coordination of two different phosphine oxide structures with the europium iron are effective for enlarging both photoluminescence intensity and the solubility of europium complexes. This is a new concept of designing molecular structures. We developed asymmetric diphosphine dioxide ligands. They enhance photoluminescence intensity and solubility of europium complexes. Based on this molecular design concept, we created 100 novel europium complexes. When our europium complexes are dissolved in a polymer or a solvent, colorless and transparent materials under room light can be obtained. We call them transparent photoluminescence materials. They emit a bright and pure colors when irradiated with ultraviolet light. Now let me give you a demo. Uh, this is our europium complexes. As you can see, it's a white powder under room light. And when irradiated with ultraviolet light, emit a pure red color. These are transparent photoluminescence materials. They are colorless and transparent and a room light. And emit a pure red color when irradiated with ultraviolet light. This is a paper printed with europium complexes. It is completely invisible and has no presence at all under room light. And when irradiated with ultraviolet light, bright and pure red color pattern appear. This is a colorless and transparent film printed with europium complexes. And when irradiated with ultraviolet light, bright and pure red color appears. This is a white film printed with europium complexes. When irradiated with ultraviolet light, bright and pure red color appears. In the next slide, I'll be showing you fundamental properties of europium complexes. Now, I'd like to show you the photoluminescence and excitation spectra of europium complexes. As you can see, photoluminescence spectra of europium complexes are very sharp. The half widths are about 10 nanometers, and they offer useful pure red emissions. The shapes of photoluminescence spectra are almost not depending on solvents and polymers. On the other hand, excitation spectra are adjustable over a wide wavelength range, and you can specify what you want. In the next few slides, I'll be showing you applications of transparent photoluminescence materials. 
in early stage, we are aiming at ultraviolet light sensing, especially deep ultraviolet light visualization and security printing, circadian rhythm lighting, and detection of harmful materials. And we are aiming at business scaling the next stage, commercializing for micro LEDs use. In the field of micro LED displays consisting of ultraviolet or blue LED arrays and phosphors, where chips used are very small, particle size of phosphors must be small to suppress variation in hues in each pixel. There is a strong demand for red phosphor that satisfies these conditions. However, in the case of inorganic phosphors, quantum errors decreases as particle size of phosphors get smaller. On the other hand, in the case of europium complexes, particle size is not relevant to a quantum yield because each molecule of a complex has a function of absorbing and emitting light. From this point of view, European complexes are promising candidates as red phosphors for micro LEDs use, and our European complexes have high performances. This is the end of our introduction of transparent photoluminescence material. Please ask us if you are interested in purchasing this material. We can provide samples in small quantities. Finally, let me introduce my driving force. This is a landscape photo of my hometown, Ogushiura, Nagasaki Prefecture, Japan. It is famous for its beautiful framing sunset. We have been creating many European complexes. They emit fiery red color like this sunset. We strongly wish that our European complexes implement into the society like glittering stars. Uh, this is the Megami Ohashi Bridge in Nagasaki. We created novel phosphine oxide ligands that enhance photoluminescence intensity and solubility of European complexes. They light up the road to commercialization of our complexes, we believe. We express our wish in cover pictures of our papers. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next one.